looks like I ruined the first one. That looks like the best approach to me. Nice. You need something really precise and a drill actually works really good. What you don't want to do is to make this. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Thursday, another day, and our chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is hole punch sharpening, so let's get it. By the way, all the DIY projects right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So in my last vlog, in this one right here, I reviewed them, and I also came to the conclusion, like all the other reviews, that they came fairly dull. So yeah, I will sharpen them as well. It's still worth it, as I said links in the description let's sharpen them up i do have this one this big one all, well all the other ones will fit my drill but this big one won't so i will need to get out the big guns this motor right here because this motor has a chuck so this will easily well not that easily but it will fit the 12 mil thing as well yeah the big one is a problem for sure but if you stay small you can easily do this with a drill okay that is not good Try something else. It's really hard to get this to run smoothly, so I will start out with a small one. Oh yeah, this is way better. Small one is easy. Yeah, that is perfect. Let's go. This needs to run smooth. Look at it. These are diamond. Let's try this one. 400 grit. I just realized that you actually need to remove quite a lot of material, especially the thinner ones, the thinner punches are really dull, like they are so dull. So I had this idea to get yet another rotary tool, namely my Dremel. This should make quick work out of this. This thing works even better. Oh, that was actually a bit too much. Look at that. Look at that. Have a look at that. That was too much. Damn. Ooh, this is really hard steel. This is crazy. Hmm. Looks like I ruined the first one. Okay, the most important one is the 10 mil. Let's try this one with a bit more concentration. Oh my goodness. So if the thing doesn't run smooth, there is no chance that you can get a good edge. No chance. Let's try this drill right here. That's not too bad. That looks like the best approach to me so far. Spinning it around will for sure help, but I think it's better if you do it slowly, because then you won't get the speed wobbles. Okay, this is already looking good to me. And then the sharpening, like the real sharpening with the fine grit. Okay, this one is looking way better now. Let's try this paper test once more. Oh yeah, this is way better. Oh yeah, this punch right here is just so wide. And this one right here, the smaller one, is way thinner. And this one actually does work. <laughs> At least to a certain degree. Okay, a bit more, I guess. All right, I did it. Check it out. This one, the 10 millimeter one has gotten uniformly sharp. It now has a pretty clear hole. 
outline. I also went over these sharp edges right here. And that's what the cutting plane looks like. Oh yeah, this is really sharp. I love that. Okay, so first of all, I did it with the drill and the Dremel. Slow rotation. Then I switched over to this thousand grit, I think. I did that a few times and then with a bit of sandpaper, actually this one, also on the inside. And all of that really seemed to make the difference. This thing is not razor sharp, but it's also not too bad. I th actually, I think like you could do the last strokes even by hand. And my sharpening angle was actually 45 degrees because this won't fray the edges. Nice. Oh, this is even better now. That's the hole right there. It's not too bad. Okay, this is definitely possible. So what you don't want to do, this is the thing right here, okay? What you don't want to do is to make this flat, 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 because then you will fray the edge. This will get so thin, this will just break off. You should actually keep this. You keep this angle right here. You just take away from this, which is a bit more than 45 degrees. It's like 60, 60 degrees. And then on the last thing, then you have this basically. Oh, actually this. And then on the last thing, I, go, I went for 45 degrees with the thousand grit. So this one with the Dremel, the, the big work, and then the small work with a steeper angle with the fine grit. All right, not too bad. I will talk more about my learnings in this vlog, how to sharpen these hole punches from China. This motor right here, this approach wasn't that great. You need something really precise and a drill actually works really good because they usually are fairly precise. And then you need a second rotary tool for the rough work and then you need something fine for the actual sharpening. And mine has turned out pretty level. That's not too bad. And it's fairly sharp. That's for sure good enough for punching some holes through hopefully fabric. This should do, I think. Actually, if you're interested, you can check out this vlog right here where I will use this one a bit more. But yeah, all in all, this, these are not too bad. You can definitely sharpen them and the material seems to be good. So that's it for this one. Smash the like button the way I smashed a few holes in this piece of paper. Bang the bell like pop to never miss DIY projects and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.